Good afternoon, everybody. Christine Barconi live here in our NBC4i streaming studio. We have an update for you on Ohio State football player Haskell Garrett. We want to get straight to this video. Um, Garrett was released from the hospital just about an hour ago. This is video shot outside the Wexner Medical Center. Um, Garrett was shot early Sunday morning, just before 1230. Um, this happened off campus in the University District on 11th Avenue there. Garrett was injured during the shooting, um, according to Columbus Police, like I said, just around 1230 Saturday night going into Sunday morning. Garrett, 22 years old, he is from Las Vegas. He is a defensive tackle for the Buckeyes. Um, police said they found a trail of blood and shell casings near the 400 block of Chittenden Avenue. That is near 6th Street. If you're familiar kind of where the, um, the railroad tracks separate Linden from the University District um, there on South Campus. Um, they said they found that trail of blood near the 400 block of Chittenden Avenue and that led all the way to the 400 block of East 11th Avenue, which is near the uh, campus gateway area and that's where they found Garrett who was shot in his face. He was taken Sunday morning to the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center in stable condition and was just released about an hour ago. Police are continuing to investigate the incident. We don't have any further information about suspect information or that um, what may have led up to that shooting but we do know at this point Haskell Garrett was released from the hospital. Um, also, earlier today, Ryan Day released a statement about the shooting. He said earlier today, head coach Ryan Day, we would like to thank all of those who have been part of Haskell's treatment, and we are grateful that he will be headed home today. We will continue to help him and his family any way we can to expedite his recovery. So that is the update as of now on Ohio State football player Haskell Garrett. Like I said, you're watching the video of him being released from the hospital at Ohio State about one hour ago, wheeled out in a wheelchair there wearing his mask. He was able to get into that SUV and was driven away. So that is an update on him. It was about um, more than a 24 hour stay in the hospital taken there early Sunday morning and then released Monday afternoon. We'll have more on um, his uh, release as well as the shooting coming up on NBC4 first at four which is in about two hours from now but for now we will talk to you all later goodbye